Okay, we are now going to we are now going to do video number five. Um, good morning, everybody. It's morning here right now. I would like to show you the little modified universal controller board, not modified, but just universal controller board that I used to uh, modify the plasma balls today in a little more detail. It has five wires on it. Um, and they're all color coded. Red and black, I'll bet you most of you can guess what that is. It's power. Um, plus would be for 12 volts uh, on the red wire and minus would be the black wire. And they get connected to the plasma ball motherboard. Uh, and we're gonna go over that in a little detail um, because there was a little mod that I, I made a mistake in one of my other videos and I'm gonna modify my verbiage in this one. These other three wires, these other three wires here, I've got a, um, a white and yellow. This is the primary um, input from the plasma, uh, from the spooky. Of course, it goes through connectors. Uh, we modify all the plasma balls by putting connectors on the front with switches, and you can see the inside and so forth. This one has got yet to be completed. And the white wire is for the gating. The blue wire is the output that actually connects to the transistor on the plasma ball motherboard. And um, we're going to show you where that goes. So tiny, tiny, tiny. Now I've, I've been giving you uh, examples by doing three different versions of plasma balls that we purchased and I had to wire them I couldn't wire them real time and show you the video of me actually wiring them but remember I'm gonna go over each one of these again real quick I removed one cap and one microphone that's all I removed from here just went and unsoldered the cap and the microphone and it's the capacitor that was connected to the third pin the third pin um, not the third pin, the middle pin. Uh, let me get my ver ver verbiage right here. I said it right, the third pin. The third pin on the driving transistor. And you can see the driving transistor um, is the one with the yellow wire in front of it. Right there. And count from, as you would read a book, one, two, three, the third pin over is where that capacitor is that I removed. And here is that little tiny guy, little tiny, tiny, tiny guy. It's a one microfarad electrolytic. I removed that and I removed the mic. I don't have a mic right here, but um, if you remember from the other videos, uh, you know what I'm talking about. This board here that I've already pre-wired on to the motherboard, I wired the positive, to the plus voltage that's on this motherboard, and I wired the negative to the negative voltage, but I didn't wire it directly to the connector. I wired it, I'm gonna show the turn this over. I wired it to the motherboard after the switch. There's a switch here on this particular unit uh, because they turn on and off with this switch, not the positive, but they turn on and off the negative wire. So, or the negative side of the 12 volt source. And it, it works just fine. Um, most people will turn on and off their power source by turning on and off a, or putting a switch in line with the red hot wire, 12 volts. But they didn't do that on any of these plasma balls. They all work the same. They turn on and off the negative wire um, or the negative part of the 12 volt source, which is fine. And what I used for ground is on the capacitor on the microphone that we took out one lead of that microphone went to uh, ground that's after the switch um, electrically connected after the switch at any rate I used the ground hole that I took the mic out of for the black wire and I do that on every single unit here's another one right here here's this one I can't wait to try and you might notice how I 
mounted the little circuit board real close to the motherboard, having long dangling wires for the plus and minus and um, the uh, output of the circuit board, uh, just lends yourself to picking up extra noise. So when I actually place the board, like I did here, I put it real close to the motherboard and I solder down the 12, uh, the 12 volt positive wire to um, the, 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 where the uh, power module, the 12 volt uh, vampire module plugs in to its positive lead. And I soldered the black wire, the black wire right here, to the mic hole. When I took out the, the, the microphone, it left, it left two holes. And um, one of those holes was connected to the, the proper ground I want to use. All right. So, so far, you can see this board that had five wires only had two of them connected. And the other three, they go to the switches on this diagram. And this diagram is on the uh, website, PDF format, and it defines what color is what for what switch and so forth. Okay, and that was done on all three styles that I presently have in front of me. Um, take another one that I haven't shown you yet. Here is a, a, another one. Little miniature controller board. The plus wire happened to go through a hole that made it convenient to connect to the positive uh, voltage that goes on here. The negative wire went to the hole that was left when I removed the microphone. And the blue wire, I actually connected to the proper place, the third. Uh, I got a, got a heat sink on here, a clamp on here. And you can't see it. I moved this heat sink to sit right on the transistor. But at any rate, it's wire number three on the transistor. I gotta put this heat sink back. Uh, clamp, heat sink, clamp back. And I have the two wires dangling now off of the, uh, the board, which I'm calling the controller board. Okay, so that'll be all I'm gonna say for video number five. Um, it's up to eight minutes. And I'll do probably uh, at least uh, one more, possibly two more videos to complete explaining how this whole process works.